away they go, ho ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 Go Chrono Stones Thunder Flash. In the last video, we arrived here in the future, and now we need to head inside the football museum. Wow, so this is the museum of the future. Cool. Doesn't look like there's any way in through the front. Sorry, sorry, I forgot to mention. The museum has an underground network of tunnels. First, try to find an access point to the tunnels. You could have mentioned that sooner. Mm, but I think we can manage it. Let's try and search for any odd looking spots. You know, you could search, or you could just look at the bottom screen and it tells you. First of all, here is the world's most useless barrier. Yeah, you can't get through it, but you can just go around. You'd think they'd put another barrier there, but no. Ah, oh, maybe we can get in through here. Looks like a winner. Now take care in there. And in you go. We go all Metal Gear Solid style with a top-down view as well as we head into the museum through the emergency exit. Again, just Pay no mind to whether or not any of this is legal. Spoilers, it definitely isn't, but we're going to continue ill-filtrating anyway. Mm, the door's locked. Let me handle this. I'll use my touch panel device. I won't open. Wonderbot, can you tell me what's going on? I think the security code is wrong. Give me a moment. Okay, that should do it. Give it another try. Six yes. We'll head in now. Not too difficult. Just give your old teddy bear a buzz. Speaking of getting a buzz, iNatter is going to be going off all the way through this infiltration. We'll check it all at the end. There's nothing over here, if I recall. Yeah, just worth confirming. You know, it's just there to be a dead end, which didn't even look... You know, you could tell it was a dead end just by looking at the bottom screen, but you certainly want to head up to the real direction. Oh, it's a dead end. Wonder Black, can you help us out again? Leave it to me. Nothing the great Clark Von Wonderbar can't handle. Hmm, just a moment. Won't be a second. Confounded little... Huzzah! How's that then? A ladder! Only one way to go now, and that's up. No idea how he's managing to do this through purely the powers of hacking, but, you know, that's anime for you, just... Chuck in the word hacking and anything is possible. I'm going to slowly climb the ladder. I don't... The, yes, there is an item over here. It's good job I checked. That's my instincts from the final area of Inazuma 11 2 kicking in. In the Genesis area, Alias Academy. Okay, we're in. Good job. Now remember, you're looking for Exhibition Room 3. The teachings of the Master should be inside. Well, first of all, we actually get to see that, well, remember, this is a football museum we're in, specifically. You can't jump down this gap. I mean, I'm fairly sure he could probably attempt it and be okay, but there's no point when you can just press this button and create another ladder anyway. It's like, what, what was that for again? We didn't even need Wonderbot to hack anything. We just made the ladder and, and that was that. But where we, of course, want to go is inside that central area. Not without picking up a walnut first. I don't think there's any photos you can take in here because this is not an area you can easily go back to once we've finished our business here. But nevertheless, good to have a look around. Nice that they've actually put a banner somewhere. They've finally remembered that it exists, but they haven't thought to put one in any of the places we've been pushing past. That's, that's how it be. Let's break into here and take what we need. Oh, what's that over there? Mm, 
Well, I'm more interested in the immediate treasures, thank you very much. We'll grab a friendship bracelet as a reminder of our times breaking into a museum in the future. And now let's head towards it. This must be it. The teachings of the Master. I wonder if the security system's activated. Got it. Well, that was easy. Have we, <laughs> have we just got it? Simple as that. The secrets of the ultimate team are written in here, right? That's right. Ah, uh, busted. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Robots? They're the museum's security bots. We don't want to get caught by them. Let's get out of here, quick! And that we will need to do once we've got the chirpy tone out of the way. You can even talk to this one and it's not going to bother you or anything. I swear that healing spot wasn't there before, but that's because these robots will chase you down. And every time you encounter one, you get into a miniature football battle. Now the funny thing is, you can actually just run away from them as though you were running away from any other sort of random encounter. If you just forfeit the battle, there's no consequence and you can just uh, carry on escaping. Uh, maybe I'll even do that next time we have a random encounter just for demonstration's sake. But for now, let's use a Zephyr shot to show that these robots can be defeated, albeit at the full cost of Arian's TP. Hey, we leveled the move up though, we're running in the 2000s now instead of running in the 90s. There we are. But you know, um, remember, that there are robots trying to you know, probably kill us or at least imprison us and stuff. Let's take the situation a little bit more seriously and try to escape the museum with our lives intact. Yeah, let's just demonstrate for the, for the sake of showing it. Uh, oh no, these robots want to kill us. It would be terrible if I just ran away from them. <laughs> Easy peasy. Oh no, the letter's gone. It must be because of the security alert. Oh, give us a break. That means we need to find another way out of here. There has been a break-in at the Football Memorial Museum. The teachings of the Master have been stolen. What? Hmm. <clears throat> Not even El Dorado's best scientists could decode the contents of that book. The burglars should find it to be quite useless. We caught the identity of the intruders on the security robot's cameras. Ha. So it is them. Perhaps... No. They couldn't have found a way to decode the script, could they? Don't let them escape. Uh, truth be told with you, mate, we haven't even looked at the book yet. Quick, let's get out of here. Yeah, so we carry on heading to the left. Go on, then we'll do one more of these random encounters. Aaron's not been healed, so I hope I get a, a healing spot soon. But we will we'll take this seriously through the power of Ricardo instead because you're the, the nearest to the goal. So we'll just do it that way. Oh, well, we won't gain possession of it at all. Then. Again, if you want to make an absolute joke out of these battles, then you can just bring out a fighting spirit and then they don't really have a hope. Um, you know what? What happens if I lose to a robot? Then we've seen absolutely every... And I accidentally guessed the right way to run and managed to stop the ball even when I was trying to fail on purpose. Oh, I genuinely wanted to see what would happen if I failed. And then I appear to have accidentally... Won. Get in range? Good. Might as well get a Doom Sword Slash in before it becomes redundant. I'm sure Victor will get Doom Dive Drive in his moveset. Not too long from now. I mean, we've already used the move through playing as Vladimir Blade instead, so I'm sure Victor will get it soon. It's always funny how you can get just a mega move so early in the game. You got it really early in Go 1 as well. But anyway, any future robot encounters I'm running as to not pad the length of the video any further. Hmm. 
Who's, what's this? Why is there a football pitch here in the football museum? Don't just stop, you fools. We've got to get out of here. Wow, where did they come from? We're surrounded. Welcome to football training room. What? There really is a football pitch then. It seems you will need to play and win a match against these robots to escape this room. They don't look like pushovers either. You'll have to play your best, but I'm certain you'll do just fine. Easy for you to say. You're not the one on the run. Well, we don't have much choice, do we? I'm not going to let a bunch of clunky old robots get the better of us. And of course, we uh, we get the opportunity to leisurely talk to all of the robots. Battle us now. Football is enjoyable. <laughs> right, well, I agree. I love robots and I love playing football in the Inazuma 11 series, so... Overall, this very first match to not be Protocol Omega is quite up my alley. Let's take them on. This is a full 11 aside match with very little in the way of mission objectives. So, finally, about three chapters too late, we're basically getting our tutorial match. But um, that formation seems fine to me. Let's. I mean, JP's in a bit of a random place, but yeah, we'll roll with Big Z for now. They actually over-level us just a little bit, but don't worry about it. They're not going to be too much of a problem. Actually, Ricardo is way back there, but you can't change your formation on that screen. You have to do it inside of the match itself, which is a little bit weird. So all 11 of these robots have unique bios, which is a really nice touch. They didn't have to, but they've, all, and they've got a couple of moves between them. But naturally, here we are in the football training room. I definitely have a strategy for this battle, which I'm going to bring into play. Just make sure there's no objectives. Great. Fighting spirit straight away with Victor. I am not going to be pulling any punches in this particular battle. And if you watched my post-game videos on Inazuma 11 Go Light and Shadow, you will know exactly what I'm going for here. But to give me some credit... Um, fighting spirits being armified and mix and matching is all the main objective of this game. The whole idea of using regular fighting spirits is not really a staple of this game. Just going for a regular shot to preserve the stamina. Regular fighting spirits are perfectly available to you even in the early days of the game. It's just not really on your mind because we're all thinking of armified stuff and unfortunately Fist Beam fails for him so we're going to get one of what will probably be plenty of goals. But right now I have the fighting spirit of Victor open and I'm looking to activate a certain mechanic which was introduced in the universal match of the previous game and then was particularly pre prevalent in the post game. Bringing out Ricardo's fighting spirit and then I just need to wait another 10 seconds before I can bring out Arian's. And that allows us to do a special little surprise, which makes us even better than we already are. I'm going to get the ball well away from Rick, from Victor, because I don't want his FSP running out too soon. It would complicate things if he were to run out of FSP that quickly. But, gosh, we've only passed six minutes of the match, and we're already too, uh, halfway to completing the plan. Three, two, one, and I can bring out Arch Pegasus. So, <laughs> yep, you all know what I'm doing. Let's summon it. Remember that Arian can armify his fighting spirit already. He learned how to do it in just the previous episode, but I am not going to be doing so. I'm just going for regular fighting spirits to show off something very special. And for this stage of the game, very, very broken. <laughs> It's completely overkill to try and do what I'm about to do, but you know what? It's fun. I get the feeling we were probably capable of beating the robot guards regardless, so let's just have some fun with it and show off this mechanic for the only time in this Let's Play before we just completely focus on armified fighting spirits and mix and match stuff. Let's get a second goal with actual Arch Pegasus, and then, once we regain possession of the ball... I'm going to try something very special indeed. 
Alright, now if you wouldn't mind, can we get back to the match please? Excellent, you scored one. Aren't you supposed to be stopping us from invading this place? You, you don't have to be so nice to us. Anyway, if you have Lancelot, Maestro, and Arch Pegasus active, you can hit the brand new Spirit Bond button to bring out Lord of Birds and Beasts, Griffin, and it's just unbelievably powerful. It's got tons of FSP, it's got the strongest fighting spirit shot in the game, a move called Flamberge. It wins pretty much every spirit duel, and it's one of only two examples of spirit bonding in the entire game. The only other spirit to be brought out through spirit bonding was found in deep in the post-game of Inazuma 11 Go Light and Shadow when Bylong and Tezcat of the version exclusive teams could spirit bond to bring out something called Arthur from their White Wyvern and Black Butcher. But that's not something accessible to our team. Griffin is the only one which really makes any sort of impact on our gameplay right now, so I wouldn't mind giving the ball to Arian, now that we've gone to all this trouble of bringing out Griffin, it's not done a single thing yet. I want to truly demonstrate how insane it is. Thief's Eye, please. I especially want to show off the movement speed as soon as we pass to Arian. It may have been toned down a little bit between the games, but pass to Arian now. And yeah, you know what? It actually has been toned down quite significantly. If we were playing Go 1, Arian would be speeding around the pitch. No one would be able to catch him. He wouldn't even need to challenge people to duels because he'd just outrun them completely. But they have toned down the speed, the movement speed of Griffin, which is a shame. But in return, they have increased the power of Flamberge even more, which is crazy. It used to consume 150 TP, or FSP rather, and now it consumes 170 FSP. And I know that FSP consumption and TP consumption doesn't directly correlate to the power of the move, but I did check just in case, and yes, they absolutely did increase the power of Flamberge, even though it was already the most powerful shot in the entire game. It is still the most powerful shot in the entire game, just to even more of an extent. And in fairness, they did also increase the power of Arthur's uh, shot, which is called, mm, like, Caliburn, and that's the one, but yeah, we're not likely to see that in this project at all. Now, because I used Flamberge and its mighty 170 FSP move, we've already run out of power on Griffin, but if I didn't go for a Flamberge, then honestly it would last forever, and there was no real reason to use Flamberge. A regular shot would have been just fine, but I wanted to show it off, because, like I say, I don't think we're too likely to see it again. Right now we've only got one character who can armor fight, but as soon as people start learning it, yeah, Griffin's not really going to get too much of a use. It's not, it's not even referenced at all in the game. You just have to know that it's there from playing the previous game, basically. But it's a genuine tip, and like I've said, there's the whole mechanic of uh, switching between armor fight fighting spirits and regular fighting spirits partway through. It might be the case that you can only switch from a regular spirit to an armor fight one halfway through, but, you know, that's a thing to keep in mind if you've used a regular fighting spirit for about half of its FSP. You can then armor fight... Oh, you know what? I forgot! You can armor fight Griffin now! Oh, no! I really want to show that off at some point now, but I've absolutely missed my chance. Oh, I really should have done that. I had my chance and I just blew it. I, all I had to do was just press the fighting spirit button and turn it into brand new for this game, Armified Griffin, but never mind, eh? I mean, you, I might as well keep in the, in the line of demonstrating all of the regular fighting spirit gimmicks. No relation to Griffin, but if I press the fighting spirit button again, can I use... No, it doesn't seem I can. Yeah, okay, I can Spirit Link to bring out Maestro or Lancelot. I just can't Spirit Link to bring out Arch Pegasus. That's weird, but 
So if I were to do this, this would consume 42% of everyone's max TP, which is the stat used to calculate your regular moves like Easy Breezy and Fractal Repel or that stuff. So a lot of players have lost some of their abilities there, but it does allow us to bring out Lancelot once again. It's a last resort. It's especially useful in bringing Griffin into play if, for example, one of your three spirits like Arch Pegasus or Lancelot or Maestro runs out of FSP before you've managed to summon Griffin, then that's what you'll need to do. Probably use a bit of Spirit Linking to save yourself from that. But otherwise, yeah, Spirit Linking is not going to be too much too useful in this game otherwise because you're going to have a fair amount of other fighting spirits to choose from that you might as well be bringing out instead. But that fully explains the gimmick apart from demonstrating armified griffin but maybe at some point we'll find an opportunity otherwise let's use the the spirit link lancelot to well i wanted to take it for a goal but of course through cheating enough to bring out sp a fighting spirit for a second time the referee catches on he's like yeah i'm not having that you can't bring out a fighting spirit twice in one match we're calling that a foul and to be fair it did it did look pretty useless Pretty ruthless, not pretty useless. Much the opposite, getting past electric impotence. And what I also want to bear, bring up is that Lancelot, Victor's fighting spirit, has also been buffed a little bit since the previous game. It was kind of strange how in Inazuma 11 Go 1, Lancelot, belonging to your big up as your OP player, Victor, was actually just not that good. And it made sense for game balance reasons, because you've had it from, like, Chapter 3. It needed to be not as good to make sense for where you have it in the game. But in return, mm, yeah, it's just a, just a... It was just a little bit bad when you were trying to go through competition routes. And if not for Lancelot's links to bringing out Griffin, it would honestly be recommended to just give Victor a different fighting spirit altogether. But thankfully, Lancelot, it's still not that great in this game, but it's definitely better. I will say that much, just increasing stats all around. It's certainly holding its own against the robot guards. Like, we're heading for a sixth goal here, and we've still got plenty of time. I might as well just aim to get the highest scoreline possible at this rate. I've got special tactics I could use to get a cheeky goal. We could mix and match to bring out FaZe, mix and match, that being Tyranno, to increase his abilities as well. What else could I do just to get as many goals as possible? I don't think I have any long shots on deck at the moment, unfortunately. We don't have Adekibi because he's too busy uh, not being interested in football anymore, thanks to the brainwashing of Protocol Omega. Not too keen on that, lads, and wow. <laughs> he won that command duel by a total of one. And then he's lost out anyway. Victor going to take the ball, but he's not really in the best position to get a score. There's no Lancelot Lunders left. He's going to run out his fighting spirit in the process. Of... All right, he doesn't. <laughs> take it back and we'll get that goal regardless. Ooh, what else can I do? I'm really into this. I just want to see. Because there's, there's not a great deal to say about robot guards. Just they are robots. BattleBots is airing on Discovery Channel and Science Channel. If you're in America, you should be watching it. That's the extent of my commentary. And uh, watch all the videos I release every couple of weeks with my own featherweight robot, the Tragic Roundabout, and the new featherweight robot that I'm working on, which I'm hoping to debut later this year. Yeah, I could talk all day about robots if this was a Robot Wars-themed video, but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm talking to my other fandom right now in Azuma 11. Boy, it can be, it can be quite the thing balancing so many different hobbies I'm interested in. Competitive Super Smash Brothers and in Azuma 11 with the YouTubing career alongside it and the Robot Wars and BattleBots fandom. I've got my fingers in a lot of pies and it means that I have to miss out on a lot of events when they, when they clash with each other. But Roma, Bushin Blades also uses I think that's more FSP than it used to consume in the previous game as well. Total power is going to come to 425. It's nothing on the 625 we saw from Flamberge, but it's still plenty enough to beat this goalkeeper in the black. 
Right, so either run the ball up the pitch with mix and match Fey, or use Fighting Spirit of Roma, or use a special tactic. We kind of need to get Victor and Arian out of the way. They're not being too useful right now. Let's see if I can get the ball with Fey. And what fight, what special tactics do I actually have access to at this point in the game? We've lost the use of Thunderbolt from the previous game, which was our best special tactic by far in that game, and it's sorely missing here. But Virtuoso is the one that actually has the cannon, the, the you know, the purpose in the story. It's the cannon one. Thunderbolt was completely forgotten after that one chapter it took part in. And it's just the game which was making it constantly part of the agenda <laughs> because it was so good. And um, Upsy Daisy we've lost the use of as well. But we'll bring Virtuoso back into play. We have Sky's the Limit as well, but yeah, you get to see plenty of Sky's the Limit in this game. Pretty much every other team has it. That's going to be our eighth goal. I think we're going to manage to get away with the teachings of the Master. I don't know about you, but they're not really putting up much opposition to that fact anymore. Ten whole minutes left in this game as well. I should really work on my formation and bring Ricardo forward. Where even is Roma? Can we give it back to him, please? And he's over there now, we've, we've decided. Yeah, let's just... Let's just keep it in possession of Roma until he runs out of FSP. And just embarrass these guys even more. Have I got another special tactic on board, maybe? Look at the speed! You'd think it was Griffin doing this, but now Roma just completely outrunning these robots. And going for another shot. Clearly only got about 10 miles per hour top speed. Decent speed if you've got acceleration, but... Oh, that's a slightly different animation, going for a dive. I've lost track of the scoreline, I'm not going to lie. Have you also noticed that Roma's model looks different in this game? I don't know if I've pointed that out before, but I think they've genuinely given him a different model since Inazuma 11 Go 1. He feels a little bit shorter and just looks less angry in general. He was a very mad-looking man in Go 1. And now he's just, he looks a lot happier and I think I prefer it. It's a little jarring how the character looks shorter now, but maybe that's just my imagination. Let's see if we've got another Virtuoso on deck. I kind of doubt it at this. Yeah, we only had 12. TTP. <laughs> when have you ever heard me bring out the word TTP? That's, there's so many different gauges in this game. Very, very easy to mix up as well. But nevertheless, Victor completely out of stamina, getting blasted out of the way. We couldn't quite make it 10-0, considering I only have one armor fight fighting spirit and one mix and match available. But, whoa, you can get some crazy scorelines in this game if you know what you're doing. Game over. We did it. What a lean win for us. All right, show me the level ups. What have we learned? Absolutely nothing. Game over, game over. Yes, we won. System error, malfunction. No such chance. Let's go. Uh, most definitely. Have we healed up automatically? Yes, we have. So let's just let's just get on the run. Get out of this museum, please. I'm getting blocked by a desk. We made it. Good work! Get back to the TM boss ASAP! And there we go. So get away complete. We're going to head back to the present in the next episode of the series. So I hope Arian and friends can wait just one more episode without getting caught by the robots. We'll just wait here in the car park. I have been Taylor the Toaster and see you in the next episode.